Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Friday. Um, I am back from my travels in Sedona on my retreat, and it was amazing. It was a wonderful experience. Um, the people that I met, the things that I got to do and experience, and the relationships that I have made um, are wonderful. And so I feel very grateful and fortunate to have that. And so I thought I would come on and do a little daily inspiration. So today's message, hey Angela, hey Annette, today's message for the daily inspiration. Hi Mitzi, thanks you guys for joining. Um, the message for today is, there is no telling how many miles you will have to run when chasing your dreams. That's kind of cool, hi. <laughs> That's kind of cool, and so I guess what I think about that is there's no telling how many miles you will have to run when chasing your dreams. Um, so if I look at it from my own experience, I can say that um, I've run a million miles, <laughs> but um, it's so worth it. And so many times we have dreams that seem very far away or unrealistic, or we feel like they're unattainable, and that's not necessarily the case, right? Um, or there are dreams that seem unattainable and it's really very simple. It's maybe one little thing that will shift your path. Um, it, it's, there's so many different things I could say about this. And so what this means to me is that you just never know and to take the step that you need to take in order to move just a little bit closer to what you want, what you want to be experiencing in life, what you want to be experiencing in your relationships, um, how you want to be and how you show up. It's taken one little step. And so you may have to, if you're going by what this message says, there's no telling how many miles you have to run when chasing your dreams. You know, sometimes it's one little shift and sometimes it's a lot more work. Um, and so just go for it. It's it's, hey, kitty, <laughs> thanks for joining Globe Trotting Miss. Yes, <laughs> I'm exhausted, um, but it's so worth it. And so I have done everything in my power that I could to create the life that I want based on my vision and my dream for myself and people around me and what I want to do and what I want to give back, and that is coaching. And so, um, it took a lot to get here. I'm not going to lie. I had many ups and downs. Um, I worked in healthcare for 12 years. I worked in um, software technology corporate, um, doing many things, including business coaching. Um, and what I've developed and what I've learned with those experiences have gotten me to where I am now. And so I have all these tools in my toolbox that I pull out whenever I need it, depending on what my client needs. Um, yeah, Mitzi, and putting yourself out there, yeah, like I'm doing right now on Facebook. Um, no makeup, um, didn't brush my hair, I've been coaching all morning, um, and that's okay, because I'm me, and I'm, I'm happy with me, and my clients and my students are getting results, and that's the most important thing, and everything else, and releasing the need for perfectionism, and how we feel like we should or shouldn't be or what we should or shouldn't show up on a live video looking like. <laughs> Who cares, right? As long as you guys get the message. Hey, Zan, thanks for joining. And so the message is to just be and show up and take, take one little step towards something that you want. And it doesn't have to be big, right? You're, you're creating a foundation and you're building on that foundation a little bit at a time. And so go with that. And sometimes you take a step forward towards your dream um, and then you realize, well, that didn't work out so well. And it's not failure. It's just, okay, that didn't work. Let me try something else. And so if you can go through life with that agile mindset, um, hey, Susan, hey, Carol, thanks for joining. If you can go through life with that agile mindset, it makes things so much easier um, and you can take it away as a learning experience and move forward because you try something, it doesn't work, you shift and you try something else. And then you 
you do a retrospect, right? What worked, what worked well, and what could change or what could be improved upon. And so if you live your life like that, you never know what's possible and where you'll end up. And here I am living the life that I wanted to create for myself. And again, it was not easy. Um, it was turbulent, <laughs> but I have to say it was worth it. And I am, I am finally at a place where I'm living my purpose. I am doing what I love and the people around me are benefiting from that. And so those who aren't benefiting from that, um, no longer need to be as close, right? Because people change and that's okay. But what I can say is you just do you. Um, take one step closer to what it is that you want your, for yourself. And if you're not sure, then think about it or talk more about it. Think about what it is that you're passionate about, what you love doing, um, what inspires you, um, what makes you happy. And so what are you doing for yourself? Um, so many times we're doing for other people, right? And as parents, I'm not a parent, um, but I don't need to be a parent to see that parents normally put themselves last. That's just what parents do. It's everything for everyone else, but what about you, right? And so what can you do? Hey, Eileen. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. Um, what can you do for yourself? What have you done for yourself today to help you stay grounded? What have you done for yourself this week to help you get a little bit closer to your dreams? Um, or to just feel fulfilled. What do you love? Because as a parent, yeah, you're a parent and you might be a spouse and you might be a partner or a sibling and a, ch and, and a child, um, but you're also a woman or a man with needs and desires, right? And so don't forget that. Don't forget you. <laughs> so just a little daily inspiration. Um, the message of today was there's no telling how many miles you'll have to run when chasing your dreams. Um, but do it. Take one step forward. It doesn't have to be big. It could be a 1% improvement or 1% closer to what it is that you want. That's it. Just 1%. And then as time goes on, you'll see you can um, take bigger steps as they seem fit in your life. And give yourself permission to be. Give yourself permission to do you. Um, just give yourself permission to love yourself a little more and get out there. And don't worry about being perfect. Hi, Susan. Um, and Catherine. Don't worry about being perfect. Just be. Just be you. Be your authentic self. Show up for yourself. Um, everyone's so worried so many times about what everyone else thinks or feels and what's the right thing and what's the wrong thing. And let that go. Just be who you want to be. And those people who are aligned with you, your purpose, um, they're the ones that are going to fall into your inner circles. And so my message for you is take some time to think about what it is that you want to be experiencing in your life and take one small step. And that could be scheduling time in your calendar for what it is that you want to do for yourself and then do it. <laughs> right? Something else is not always more important than you. Right, there are emergencies that come up, but hey, Marco, but something else is not always, or somebody else is not always more important. You have to take care of yourself, so you can be um, the best version of yourself for those in your life, and that includes taking time for yourself. And it's not easy. We're we're so task driven and task oriented and checking things off our list to do, but that doesn't create the life that you want. That's just checking off a list, which there's always things to do. That list is always going to grow, right? It's always there. There's always a list of things to do. Prioritize, remove things off your calendar that aren't serving you. Take one step closer towards the goals and the dreams that you want to see for yourself and what it is that you want to be experiencing in your life. One little step, 1%, baby steps. Doesn't have to be big. It needs to be consistent. One small step every day. Take five minutes and, and 10 minutes and set your intentions. What is it that you want to be experiencing today and what can you do to make that happen? So have a great day. Have a great weekend. Um, I might change my 
Let's Talk Life series. It's Wednesdays at 12. I might change it to, you're welcome, Missy. <laughs> I might change it to another day for next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday, because I'm traveling again, heading back to Phoenix for an amazing coaching conference. Um, I'm meeting up with my tribe members from all over the world. I'm so excited. And so, um, yeah, just do you. And don't worry about everything else. When you're aligned with your passion and your purpose, things just fall into place. And you'll know it because it won't be difficult. It won't be as difficult. Have a great day. Thank you guys for joining. If you know somebody that could use to hear this message, um, someone that maybe doesn't take enough time for themselves or is putting everyone else first, please share or tag them. Um, you know, sometimes it's important to create support for everyone. And so even just a simple video just might be the message that somebody needs to put a smile on their face. So do it. Share it. Um, tag someone. Let me know how I can support you. Have a great weekend.